Well, March is Bike Safety Month and a local group continues to encourage wearing helmets and gearing up in order to protect people and lives. The group now tries to promote its program in Title I schools around Palm Beach County. Here to tell us more is HeadSmart's Chairwoman, Marsha Rickless. Marsha, welcome back. Thank you so Thank much you. for being here Thank with you. us. Um, Thank you. First, before we get into um, you know the, the the safety gear, I want to talk a little bit about the inspiration behind this program, and it has to do with this beautiful, beautiful boy yeah, that we're seeing right yeah, here. Yeah, this was my son Jonathan. In July of 1988, he came home from day camp, and he told me he wanted to go bike riding, which was not unusual. But remember, back then, nobody wore right. bike helmets. Nobody. So he went riding. And he got to the door and said, Mom, I may be a few minutes late. And those words were the last words I ever heard him oh, speak. Oh, Marsha, I'm so sorry. Two blocks from the house, he was hit by a car. And he went up in the air, landed down on the ground. And the impact of the crash and that crash on the ground caused brain injury. We did not know. We had no idea what had happened to him. Hours later, when we finally found out, we got to the hospital. He was already in critical care. Mm -hmm. And he lasted in the hospital for one week in a coma. And then he finally had a cerebral hemorrhage and, and he died. Oh, Marsha, I'm so sorry. How old was Jonathan? He was only seven. Seven years old. And his loss caused so much grief, not only my husband and I, but his older brother of lost course. his baby brother. Yeah. My whole family, our school, the community. He was a, he was a beloved child. And, and now you're honoring Jonathan's memory and, and his life by making sure that families don't have to go through this. Talk to us about the program. That's exactly, that's exactly what I'm trying to do. So my program, which is called Head Smart, and it is funded and founded mm -hmm. by the National Council of Jewish Women, it is a program to educate and make people aware of bicycle safety, but most, most particularly, bike helmets. Yeah, talk to us about this. So, so you have made this your, your mission. Why is the fit of a helmet so important? It, well, helmets are critical because helmets will save lives. Mm -hmm. Every helmet will help save a life. The fit of the helmet is very important, and depending on the size of your head, there are different sized helmets to fit you. Helmets also, newest technology, have these little turny things yeah. on the back, the knobs, which will help adjust and, mm -hmm. the size of the helmet. In addition, there are pads that you can put on the inside of the helmet to tighten them up as well. So, Marcia, what do you want to tell parents? What, what message do you want to get across to them, to, to parents, to caregivers, to grandparents? The most important thing you can do for your child is save their life. Mm -hmm. And the way to do that, the way for them to ride safely on a bike, a scooter, a skateboard, is to wear a helmet. Head smart. We want to save our lives one head at a time. And our program now, we would like to take it into the schools. The schools, the children, the parents, community groups, whoever will allow us to make our presentations, we know that we can, we can change the way they think about riding bicycles. Well, I safety. can say you're already changing so, so many lives as it is. Erin was just telling you that after she did the interview with you a few months ago, yes. she went home and adjusted the helmets for her girls. So your message is getting across to people. I hope so. And there are three things that you want to take into consideration when you ride your bike. You want to make sure it fits on your head and you can put two fingers in between your eyebrows and the helmet. You want to make sure that it has a V on the ears, and you want to open your mouth when you have it closed to make sure it's comfortable but tight at yeah. the same time. Marsha, thank you so much for, for coming by. And all of the information, the tips that Marsha just went through, we have on our website as well, WPBF.com. Just go ahead and search bike safety and helmet use, and everything we talked about will pop up there. Thank you so much. And thank, thank you, you for, for sharing thank you Jonathan's for having me. story. Thank you.